Hey everyone. So this question here is asking us to come up with the exact value of this expression right here. Okay, so we got to go through this kind of bit by bit here. So first of all, negative 2 times the sine of 3 pi over 4. Okay, so first of all, the reference angle here for this angle is going to be pi over 4. I can just cover up that coefficient of 3 there and I'm left with pi over 4. So there's my reference angle. What quadrant is 3 pi over 4 in? Well, okay, 3 over 4 is not quite 1, but it's getting close to it. You round that up there to 1 here. So, so this must be in the second quadrant here. So sine is positive in the second quadrant. So this is going to be negative 2 times the sine, okay, the positive sine of pi over 4, okay, plus, now it doesn't really matter whether tangent is positive or negative, but because it's being squared here, but anyway, the reference angle here is going to be pi over 3, okay, um, it's in the second quadrant because I've got two pi over 3's, that's, that's not going to push us beyond 180, Okay, or beyond the, the negative x-axis there when you rotate it. So this is going to put us in the second quadrant. Tangent is negative in the second quadrant, so this is going to be negative, the reference angle is pi over 3, but that'll be squared, so it doesn't really, that negative is kind of not, not causing me much difficulty here. Now this one over here, just be careful with this one. Negative pi over 2, that's, that's 90 degrees. Now let's just think about that. Cosine is related to the x-coordinate. Okay, think about the, the, the unit circle. Cosine is related to the x-coordinate. Let's just assume that the, the radius here is 1. At negative 90 degrees here, the coordinates of that point are going to be 0, comma, negative 1. Well, the cosine is 0. This is all just going to go to 0. That's just going to disappear. That term goes away. So now I can just kind of focus on the parts here that are going to last here. Sine of pi over 4 is going to be root 2 over 2. Okay, now tangent of pi over 3, that's 60 degrees. Okay, the tangent of 60 degrees is root 3. So this is going to be negative root 3 squared. Now let's just do some simplifying here. The 2's cancel here, so this is going to be negative root 2. And then negative root 3 squared is going to be positive 3. So the answer here is going to be negative root 2 plus 3.